What's up, everybody? It's Rod on the Road. Signing on. I hope everybody's doing well. This video is uh, basically this video is a continuation of the previous video, which for some reason. Um, oh no! This video is a continuation of the previous video. I have made it to Home Depot successfully. Like I said earlier, it wasn't far away. Around, around the corner, and the decision to not go down that grade was a good decision because I was afraid there would be more grades. And I made it here in less than five minutes with no trouble whatsoever. And it's open. Wonderful. So happy to see this is open. Uh, I actually did call it. No answer, but that's, that's common. Um, now I'm going to go in here and have a cup of coffee. Courtesy of Home Depot. Thanks, Home Depot. Or the big orange store. Uh, Y'all know it's Home Depot. But, and I'm going to look for that basin. Remember the shower I discussed earlier? I'm going to look for that shower basin. It's blue and it's some type of a laundry tote. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Hopefully it's durable enough to, uh, oh, look, y'all. Look what we have here. Woohoo. Uh, let's see. That's Norfolk Southern. Oh, yeah. Big train. But anyway, what we'll do is go in there and I'll mill around and I'll come up with some more ideas. Don't know what kind of ideas I'll come up with. I might have an idea. Well, I don't want to say that word. Uh, let's put it like this. It ends with ism. I'm going to have an idea-ism in there and just have ideas. Man, that was the shortest train in American history. Look at that. It's over with just that quick. But, uh... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and have some ideas and get some ideas to go on and just hang out for a minute. I got a lot of downtime today. I'm not going to be doing anything. No thrifting today. Uh, my thrift store locator has uh, found one, but it's headed out of this direction. So I'm afraid the road condition might be horrible and it might not even be open. So uh, I'm going to take the liberty of sheltering in place uh, right here, which is going to be just fine for me. Uh, they'll seem to be open all day. They have facilities. Not that I need them, but I'll be able to use them. And um, and I'll go in there and I'll get some more paracord. I'm out of paracord. And, um, of course, hopefully they got that shower basin. I'll pick that up. And I'll see. I need a railing system. What I, My idea, you know, and I discussed it earlier, is that railing system that'll be permanently mounted in the top or something like that. Something like that. You know, I'm just letting it If y'all got any ideas, hey, throw them at me. I got my ideas, but I'm open to other ideas as well, you know. Because we help each other. We share information. And that's great. And that's what I want to do. Um, it's not a one-sided thing with me. We are in this together. We're a family. And we share this information. And, you know, if the idea is great, it'll stick. If it's not, you know, well, maybe someone else can use that idea. So throw them out there. Feel free. I really appreciate it. Um, and it looks like Home Depot's treated this lot. And um, I see some piles of snow, so I'm sure they had a bobcat out here pushing that snow and, uh, in one direction. It's, uh, it's good, but it's still a lot of ice. Uh, it's still extremely dangerous. But, you know, with that said, uh, that's, uh, that'll be about the only thing I work on today. And also something I want to discuss is my, my electrical system. Um, I, want a, I want one of those... Um, I think they call them, it's a, um, it's a solenoid, continuous something solenoid, you know, what I have hooked up now, the poor man's version, but one problem with that poor man's version, even, even though it works fine, the human element is the problem, me, forgetting to hit that switch on and off, a lot of times I'll get on the road, I forget to turn it on, and I arrive with a low battery, or a 50% battery, or whatever, and I have no plans of going anywhere else. And I don't have no sunlight. So, you know. But oftentimes, um, I just want to remove that human element. Uh, or I've left it hooked up. And when it's hooked up, you're effectively draining your char cranking battery as well as your deep cycle battery. Not a good idea. Especially when you're in a remote location. There's no help. There's no phone service. You don't have a battery pack. Or you have drained it. Or, you know, whatever. i got to get one of those battery packs, too. Uh, you know, I want it to be multi-use though. I want it to be multi-use where I can use it for charging electronics, equipment, and also to jump the truck off. 
if necessary. Or to help someone else jump theirs off. Keep me from giving a, a manual, the regular old boost off, you know. Um, and that's pretty much it on that. That continuous use solenoid to take me out of the equation and keep my batteries charged up. Uh, also, solar, it'll work in conjunction with my solar panels. They'll be a team. They'll work together and upgrade my batteries. I want the system, I've made some mistakes, and I want that system on point. Um, I'm going to add one more solar panel. I've made the room for it. I just hadn't added it yet. And that'll be 200 watts on the roof, along with my continuous use solenoid. Uh, I shouldn't have any problems with two true deep cycle batteries. You know, not the not the other ones. The true deep cycle, the Trojan or or the Golf Card AGM or the Olympia, the KBC suggestion. Thanks, KBC. But that is definitely something I'm 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 working on, and something that I have in mind. Something that's got to come to coming to play here in the very, very, very near future. But today, we're going to shelter in place. I'm going to go on Home Depot, middle round, get this shop thing started, and hopefully, you know, just relax. I'm going to eat a little later on, and I might I might get another video. I don't know. It depends on what's on my mind, if I want to discuss anything else, which is so much to discuss. It's just so much to discuss. I want to hit more on that, uh, on that air pump, which they probably have some in here. I've noticed them in Home Depot. Husky makes one. Also, there are a lot of them online. This thing has to be tough, it has to be rugged, and it has to be high PSI. I want some air off production. I don't want to play with it. If you want to get one, get one that's, just, that's going to be effective and going to and hold up well in the field. You don't need uh, the components of any of these uh, mechanical devices going down in the field. You need them to function. They have one mission and one purpose, and that's to work. That's to function. <laughs> so if they're not going to function, they have a problem, <laughs> you know. Um, that's pretty much it. This is Rod on the Road signing off. Go to Ramon Reddick. That's R E M O N E R E D D I C K on Facebook. Send me a friend request and we can continue this conversation. I uh, thank you so much. Um, God bless America. Hit that like and subscribe button. And free coffee it awaits me. Peace.